What's up, my broski dude skis? We got some first person helmet cam, goggle cam, whatever the hell you want to call it, on the official Monster Energy Supergirls game, too. So I wanted to come in here and kind of look at the first person camera of this game. That's kind of what this video is all about. I like to do this every time a new motocross game comes out, kind of see what different uh, camera modes and stuff like that that they have. So one thing about this new Supercross 2 game that I didn't really notice in the first game being this way is the simple fact of, like, if you go on there and put, like, a different kind of goggle on the rider, like, for instance, I'm riding as Justin Barsha right now, and he has more of, like, a clear goggle style just as default, but if you go on there on, like, Eli Tomac... He's got more of a uh, like red tinted goggle, and it actually changes the way the goggle camera in the game is. I thought that was kind of cool, so we might go in there to a different rider here in a second where he's got different goggles, and I'm sure if you have your own custom rider and you change the goggles on him, it'll do that as well. It'll change the actual goggle camera, so I thought this is a really cool thing that they've put into this game right here. Just simply because instead of just having just the first person, they've got the goggle mode in there as well. That's what you don't normally see in a lot of other motocross games, uh, like an actual, you know, true goggle mode. So it's just cool. It's just interesting. I would have thought at this point this game would have had more of like dirt getting up on the goggles and pulling tear offs. I think that would have been a really cool addition they could have added to this. I'm not saying it had to be anything crazy, right? But especially like when you're riding with the mud mode on and stuff like that, I just thought that would have been really cool to have in this game. So let's see. Can you quad this? Yeah, I think you can. Okay, we'll sweep it around like this. Uh, so yeah, dude, this game's pretty interesting. I, I like a lot of the, the on-track type changes and stuff they've made to it with the uh there's some tracks in this game that are no joke dude like they're i, I never thought i'd say that about a milestone motocross or supercross game but there's a couple of them on here where it's like i mean it's it's pretty tough to hit some of the jumps and stuff like that on it um i, I think it'd be so cool if in their next game i'm kind of getting off topic a little bit here but i think it'd be so cool in their next game if they really try to free up their physics which I'll, I'll i've talked about that from day one right I'm not saying make it like a simulator but just free up their physics a little bit but they're they're certainly going down the right road when it comes to track designs and making just the on tracks more skill gapped i think they certainly are getting that more like it needs to be oh those whips went backwards and a half <laughs> i'll tell you that right now but so can you triple that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I just ima I guess what I'm trying to say is I just imagine a like a game like this that has this cool, more skill gappy on track feeling than the first game had, but just have more of an actual um, you know, movement system on the bike and hooking system on the bike, and actually that would go so well with this game's like the way the jumps are designed and the way you have to land them more precisely and the way you have to really you know get the speed out of a corner to hit some of the main triples and stuff like that especially if you're going up the inside on somebody i just think having more movement on it and more leaning would and actually have that affect the way your trajectory is in the air like in some of these other motocross games out here i think it'd be i think it would just fit this game so well if they they added some changes like that to it so um this is pretty cool i can come in and ride on daytona in the day in the game kind of feels like you're riding on uh like Daytona practice or Daytona amateur day or something like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, cool, dude, for sure. So, yeah, man, this is the uh, goggle mode. So pretty similar to the first game. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like it's some super new thing. Um, very, very similar. All your camera modes are pretty much identical. I can't remember if the first Supercross game actually had where if you had different goggles, it would change the tint on the goggle camera mode. Can't remember if that was the case, but... Um, it certainly does that in this game, and it uh, basically, like, it still muffles out the sound, right? So, like, let's just say I go in here to the normal first-person mode. looks totally different than the goggle mode, but um, if I come in here like this, right, you'll still hear the bike, like, pretty loud, but if you go in here to the goggle mode, it'll actually muffle it out like you got a helmet on. So that's kind of an interesting little addition they would that they've put in there. Uh, and I think that was actually in there in the first game as well. But um, yeah, you would just think if they would go to the extent of putting a goggle mode, 
especially now that we're to the second game that's got a goggle mode, you would just think at this point they would have some sort of, you know, dirt mud collecting on the goggles and like a tear off system. And you only have so many tear offs in a race. So you got to use them wisely or unless you get out front and you don't get any dirt, you know, it actually has that whole system of like someone actually has to flick up roost right in front of you for dirt to get on your goggles. Unless you, there is some rare occasions where you can turn in a corner super fast in real life and it, you'll actually like roost yourself in a way. Well, that sounds kind of weird, but, uh, I've done that to myself a few times in real life, especially if the dirt's a little bit more on the wet side. You can like whip it into a corner real sharp and that mud will sling right on your goggles that you you actually created it. You know, you made dirt stick to your goggles from your own bike. I know that sounds so insane for that to even be possible, but I'm telling you it's possible, dude. I've done it multiple times in real life riding. So I guess in certain occasions you could have, have it to where it puts a little bit of dirt on your goggles. Let's just say if you're riding by yourself, but the main the main time it would do it is when you're racing, you got a lot of people in front of you, right? So it would like really make you try to get that start. Um, and plus having to hit a separate button to pull a tear off, I think that's kind of cool because you actually have to like, like uh, while you're riding, try to pull the tear off while you're riding, try to hit the other button while you're riding to do it. I even think it would be cool if they made it to where it wasn't just a... Like, if they did end up putting a tear-off system in here, I think it'd be pretty sick if they made it to where you couldn't just put it on, like, the A button or the B button or something simple shit like that. I think it'd be cool if you actually had to, like, sweep one of your thumbsticks over while you're holding a button or something cool. So it, like, really kind of, you know, challenges you to be able to do it while you're riding fast in the game. I think that'd be certainly interesting if they made it more like that. Um, because in real life, I mean, especially if you're not used to it, like, it's pretty hard to tear tear-offs uh, while you're right in the middle of a race and you got dudes right on your ass. And, you know, I, I noticed that in real life when I was trying to pull tear offs, the only time you can really do it without losing speeds is doing it in the air, which there's a lot of local vibe motocross tracks that don't have that big a jump. So sometimes it's kind of hard to do it when it's like that. But, um, yeah, I don't know this Daytona here. Uh, it's okay, but I think it's just not quite as fun as the Daytona that was in the first Fish Monster and Supergrass game. But I'll come back on the Eli Tomac show you guys kind of how the different goggles can look in here. Okay, so here we are with the Eli Tomac. You can see like a totally different feeling here. This is really cool, dude. I like how they've... It's, it's those little touches like that that makes big differences in games. I think a lot of game companies don't understand that and realize that sometimes. And little things like, you know, popping you instantly off of a tough block, just barely grazing it, like super annoying. You know, that kind of stuff, not that big of a deal. It feels like you could fix that so easily, but yet it's such a hassle, such an annoying thing. But like something where you go in there and just make it to where the goggle camera actually has different tinted colored goggles on it, just just immerses you that much more, you know, makes it feel that much more real, makes it feel that much more cool when you go in there and put different kind of tinted goggles and stuff on there. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty interesting, man. I figured that I honestly figured the Daytona on this, they would have put some more like maybe hardcore ruts, you know, make it more like a motocrossy style track on this game. Um, I just would have thought they would have made it a bit more challenging than it is here. You know what I'm saying? Would have thought they might would have uh, kind of went down that road with it a little bit. Whoa, you can uh, over jump that a little bit. That second triple after you come off the table on off. But yeah, this game definitely has a slower pace to it than the first one. It doesn't have that whole thing where, uh, you know, it's got that like super fast, the screen moving to you feels super quick and all that like the first game had. Just just the overall feeling of this game in it, in its entirety feels slower paced, but it's actually, I feel like it's more skill gapped, even though it's slower paced on some of the more difficult tracks, because even though it's a little bit slower paced, the tracks are rougher. They do have small pre-made ruts, not like big, like you can really get down into them, but they do have small kind of rougher pre-made ruts and roughness on it, which is cool because it makes it to where you can't just get those laser wide open around a corner, wide open through every section, not even have to think about anything. You know, everything's a little bit smaller, tighter. I say smaller, like I'm, I mean like the overall scale of the tracks. Most of them seem a little bit like smaller, but the thing about it is, is the jump peakness, everything seems more peaked out. So you've got to be about twice as more precise 
on most of the tracks jumps in this game than you did the first game. Even though it feels like you're going about twice as fast in the first game than you are this one, you're, you're actually having to think a lot more on this game. This game's got more of a, you have to time stuff out. You have to think ahead. You have to really be like, okay, if I don't hit this corner on the outside, I'm not going to be able to hit that rhythm in the next cor- in the next uh, you know straightaway, the next rhythm section. Like if I don't really try to hook this one thing perfectly on this one side, I'm not going to be able to hit that jump. Whereas the first game, you were just kind of not really giving two shits about it. When you come around a corner, it's like, ah, I'm going to be able to hit it. You know, the jumps aren't very hard. Like I'm going to be able to hit it. Don't really even have to think about it. But, uh, I just, I guess I would have thought in my own mind, like coming in here on a Daytona, they would have just made something, maybe, maybe made the ruts a little deeper pre-made. You know, you could really like run up the inside and get in a pre-made rut or something like that. Cause you guys know the terrain deformation in, in most of the milestone games is more cosmetic than it is physically changing it. So, I don't know. I guess in my mind, I just thought it would have been cool to have the Daytona a little bit more hardcore, rough, ruddy, something like that. Would have been interesting, but uh, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Just wanted to come here and check this uh, little goggle camera out. Thought it was cool. Definitely cool how you can get the whole red tint vibe to it. Uh, I think that looks cool, like from the outside, when uh, certain riders have tinted goggles. I just think that's such a cool look, when you uh, like how that looks in a helmet. You know, tinted goggles, whether it be like a red tint, blue tint, uh, more of just like a yellow style tint. You can get basically any sort of tint color on it, but I think it's pretty cool. Like the actual shaded goggles and stuff looks pretty sick because you can't see inside of them at all from the outside. So just kind of has that cool look to it. Uh, But obviously you don't want that at nighttime racing because that would be kind of bizarre. But during the day like this, especially sunset riding motocross and you got the sun right in your eyes on the star straight or something like that you can certainly have a little bit of an advantage but uh yeah i made a couple of ruts right here in the sand so this area you can either choose to go outside around that corner or go inside and you can still hit the triple there yeah i just would have thought some of these sections like specifically that one that one uh rhythm right there that i was on thought that would have been a little more challenging than it ended up being here uh I guess that's one of the sections I was thinking, man, you know, I figured that would have been just a little bit more difficult. And then the Dragon's Backs, being the fact that the whoops are not hard in in this game, haven't been hard in any milestone game, really, makes to where your Dragon Back sections aren't really difficult. They do have a little bit of a bug here where the rider's arm will kind of glitch out. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed that, but that will happen at times. Okay, so you can quad. What was that, a quad in? That's cool. Finally hit that as hard as I could. So, like, you can hit some bigger, a little, slightly bigger rhythms on a couple of these sections, right? Like, I think you can quad out into the corner right there on that one section and quad into the, the section before that. We'll try to do it on this next lap. But uh, it's not like that's really making you go all that much faster because just simply the jumps are fairly small on this Daytona track here. So, you know, even if you don't hit it, not really like you're going to die, not really like you're going to crash, um, dragon back there, super easy. So you can actually jump over that tabletop, but I think it's not as fast because you kind of swoop down in the transition too far. Uh, you kind of lose your momentum in that sense. So I don't really think that's all that much faster, but yeah, interesting how they put this whole game together. You could probably jump all the way into that a little bit. We'll try that on the next lap. But uh, I was impressed with some of the tracks in this game, though, for sure. Like, I was actually really surprised by how they did some of that. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, that's a quad, and then you can double. Now, right here, they made that pretty rough, so it makes it harder to huck that quad out. Uh, hmm. Yeah, a little bit bizarre there. <laughs> uh, and then you can huck this as hard as you want to. Finally popped off doing that. I've never popped off jumping that, and I've hit it wide open every time, so that was cool to finally pop off there. Uh, okay, going to jump through some of those little rollers there. Now we're scooting boys. Okay, spun out just a little bit. This is my first time ever actually really playing with the, the uh, first-person goggle mode in this game, so it is a little bit different than the first Fisher Monster New Supercross game, right? Because obviously this game, just the overall feeling of it is kind of like you, you know, you mixed MXGP Pro with, so you can jump down in it a little bit, I guess. Can you jump up over that 
Ooh, I don't know about that, boys. That'd be pretty tough to hit that like that. But let's just jump this wide open. Yeah, you can almost jump all the way to there. Not sure how feasible that really is. Woo! Papa Willie, no squilly, boy. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. There's something weird, though, when you play a motocross game in first person that has a weird whip system to it. It's very difficult to, uh, like, come, ac come across jumps properly like you really want to and stuff like that. Um, but I think this is going to be cool when people really go in there and start making some of the custom tracks on this game. That's really when you're going to start getting a lot of fun with the skill gap. Uh, so, yeah, and I hope they add in DLC, like, a whole lot more... I hope they just give us some more free custom track pieces and options and stuff, honestly. Like, not even as DLC. Like, I feel like that needs a lot more than what it has right now, personally. But, I just made dude, skish. So, yeah, bro, don't want to make this video too long. Just want to come here and kind of check this out. Uh, yeah, so you can kind of wheel tap a little bit there. Come around here. Wheelie over that. Jump to that. And then triple out of that. Trick to that whole section right there is hitting the track on the right width part of it. I learned that riding on this track here in the mud. Um, so, yeah, you just kind of got to learn. Like, there's certainly, with a lot of the tracks in this game, there's some areas on the width of some of the lips of the jumps are way higher than other uh, spots of the jump face. So, depending on if you hit it on the left side of the jump face, right side of the jump face... You know, middle of the jump phase is going to totally change the, the trajectory and the way you actually hit the jump in that sense. So, either way, dudes, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later. Gotta love those tough blocks, baby. <laughs> Concrete, bro.